Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Ask Heather G. And if you can tell, I'm on my hands and my knees because I am recording from a location far, far away from home. I'm in Germany. And if you read the title, you would know that yes, I got robbed. I got robbed in Madrid, in Spain. So, well, almost. And let me tell you why it was almost. So, here's the story. My sister and I was in this area called Gran Via. My sister, myself, and my cousin, and my niece, actually. And we were going shopping at uh, Zara. Because in the um, European countries, a lot of time the stores hold or carry clothes that they don't carry in the U.S. market. And so we were like, oh, let's check out the inventory. Maybe we'll see some unique pieces. Maybe we'll see some new items. So, of course, we was like prancing in there thinking that we were all cute and everything. But we were. <laughs> um, and as we're walking inside, I feel a tug on my purse. And so my sister was walking very close to me. And I didn't think anything of it because the city is like bustling. It's a lot going on. It reminds me a lot of New York City. So she's so close to me that I'm thinking that maybe it's just the pull of her bag catching on in my bag. And you know, that's the tugging sensation that I'm feeling. But slowly I see her like prance by me and I'm like, okay, why am I still feeling this tugging on my purse? Where's the purse? I don't know, but it's like a crossbody bag, like one of the little bags that has like a little pouch with a flap over it. So I look down, lo and behold, catch this man red handed. When I say red handed, I mean his hand was literally in my bag. And so I immediately start yelling like, what the hell? You guys. I was acting a little ugly. <laughs> I think that most people would probably have reacted the way I did in the situation. Um, but anyway, let me finish this work. So I'm yelling, what the hell? And my sister grabs the guy's uh, jacket because he had his jacket like over his hand because he was trying to hide my crap. So he had like my iPhone in his hand and he was going back in my purse to try to grab my wallet out. But luckily my bag is small, my wallet's big. So my wallet was kind of stuck. It takes... It, takes me a little bit of maneuvering to even get my own wallet out of my purse. So that was the fortunate thing. It wasn't meant for him to get it. But anyway, my sister yanks his bag and she's like going through his stuff. How do you, how would it feel if someone went through your stuff? And looking back at the situation because he got nothing, um, I'm relieved and it's comical, but there was also a lesson to be learned in this situation. And that was, although I don't think I acted wrong, I'm not going to use the word wrong because I feel like it was a natural human reaction. Here's what I learned from the situation. Number one, it could have been bad because what if this man was violent? Fortunately, he, uh, you know, kind of uh, cowered down and almost scurried off, like ran away as fast as possible. But what if he had been a violent person? He could have stabbed me, he could have shot me, he could have smacked me. Uh, secondly... I didn't like the idea of getting so angry, especially when I'm evolving and expanding and growing every day and putting myself into a positive mindset. And um, in most situations, I'm able to be cool, calm, and collected because these are usually like 80 to 90 percent of the time controlled situations. But it made me think about the situations that are out of our hands, that are um, when we face adversity that is out of our control. What do we do? How do we react? And so it made me learn something about myself and that I really have to like dig deeper and work harder on myself because I don't want to be the victim. You know, you did this to me. I don't want to be someone who pl places blame, you know. Um, I don't even want to be someone who seeks revenge. You know, I'm going to get you. I'm going to hurt you. I don't want to be that person. I want to move out of a place of forgiveness and light and happiness. Right. And so, again, even though I didn't do anything wrong, I could have handled the situation better. And so I'm asking you, how can you be better? Comment below, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time with some beautiful imagery from Germany. Talk to you later. Bye.